And there they go. Bowing Snowman quickly away with Dr. Lloyd and Blue City. Star in the makings fourth, quad party fifth. Here's the favorite, Night Escort, the last of six. He's relatively close, only three lengths off the lead. Three by three up the backstretch. Bowing Snowman, Dr. Lloyd, Blue City applies pressure from the extreme outside. Quad party with a ground saving trip up the backstretch run. The stable mate star in the makings in the two path. The Night Escort's three deep at the three eights with about four lengths to find on Bowing Snowman. Bowing Snowman has the lead. Here's Blue City, three wide. Dr. Lloyd from between runners. Night Escort makes his move. He's committed to a four wide charge. He has momentum. We'll have to overcome this wide trip. Quad Party gets to save all the ground. Star in the making is there. Bowing Snowman off the turn. The one to reel in. Quad Party tips away from the inside. Now goes back to the rail. Night Escort with this wide journey. It caught up to him. He's a little even paced. Bowing Snowman getting brave on the front end. Bowing Snowman all the way in the Tuesday opener. Quad Party outruns his odds for second. Then Night Escort and Star in the Makey. Make sure to join us this Monday for a Handicappers Challenge. It's free for all Lucky North Club members. Our $2,500 Handicapping Challenge set for this month three. And there they go. Canceled Captivity wins the start. Varsity Doll, her stablemate from the outside. Baby Dreams forwardly positioned. Go Susan Go, not that quickly away. Rushing up into the scene. Miss Zolvig bides her time from the fifth spot and happy time content to be at the back. Go Susan Go wants to pick up the pace. Canceled Captivity doesn't want to relinquish the lead. They get acquainted. Baby Dream sits a nice trip from third. So too does the favorite Miss Solvig. She's worked into the two path and she's three lengths off the lead. Happy time three wide. Varsity Doll now finds herself with the deepest path. Four deep entering the back stretches. Go Susan Go comes away with the lead from Canceled Captivity. Miss Solvig's into the race at the 5 eights. Likewise for Varsity Doll and Happy Time. And Baby Dreams content to be at the back. Pretty compact group. About three lengths from first to last. Go Susan Go. Miss Solvig, the favorite, now asserting her authority, poking her head in front. Happy Time tries to go with the favorite. Varsity Doll's four deep. Baby Dreams in the fifth spot. Canceled Captivity at the back marker. They race to the three eights. Miss Solvig has the lead, and it's a narrow lead. Go Susan Go, staying on nicely. In third is Happy Time. Baby Dreams advances into fourth, and canceled Captivity. Varsity Doll drops out of it. Miss Solvig has the lead. Happy Time second, then Go Susan Go and Baby Dreams. Miss Solvig and Katie Davis, they're the ones to beat at the top of the lane, getting away from her rivals. Happy Time is second, then Baby Dreams. Go Susan Go, canceled Captivity. Miss Solvig opens up at the eighth pole. Opening up with E. She's going to run her rivals right off the screen here in race two. Happy time second. Baby Dreams third. Canceled captivity fourth. That's really what you need to know about race two. Three day carryover. Some other changes. Seventh race scratch the one win giant. And in the nightcap scratch four juggler. 21 minutes. Just about ready for the race. And there they go. Quick start for Who Asked You. Here is Miss Stone showing that good speed. Star's Delight makes three gunning for the top spot. Devilly's in the fourth position, flanked by Maddie Surprise. So Star's Delight showing aggressive speed from the inside. Miss Stone's and Who Asked You. Three are really gunning hard. Miss Stone's looks like she might emerge as the quickest from between gals. Maddie Surprise and Devilly have a little less than four to make up heading into the turn. Miss Stones puts her nose in front of Star's Delight, who sticks with her. And in third, who asked you? Maddie Surprise from the outside, and Devilly's getting some pace to chase along the inside. A little less than three lengths off the lead. Miss Stone, Star's Delight continues to test her. Who asked you is third. Maddie Surprise with a wide journey. Devilly's looking for a crease to cut through and she begins her move. Miss Stone's at the 316th, a narrow lead. And chasing her is Devilly. Also fighting on Star's Delight, who asked you? And Maddie Surprise, look at this race. Who's gonna win it to start the pick six? Miss Stone's and Star's Delight. Miss Stones, she did it the old-fashioned way. Jerry Belinsky, Roddy Valente, and others. Race three is official. Five, one, six, three, top four finishers. That a double, five, five, two dollars. And there they go. 
From the inside, Mommy Joe Dreams quickly away with the lone debutante special pal showing up first with lasting speed pushes from the outside. My inner voice is fourth, Flutie Flakes up close from the fifth spot. Glory Bound Claire is in the sixth position, seven off the lead with pace to chase. Sassy Tallahassee's a good three behind her. The lone mare with lasting speed up to the front from Mommy Joe Dream. Special pals back to third. Flutie Flakes is in the fourth spot. My inner voice saves ground to the three eights and she's four lengths off the lead. Three clear of Glory Bound Claire, another three and a half for four to Sassy Tallahassee. With lasting speed, Mommy Joe Dreams comes with her run to the outside. And my inner voice is progressing up the rail. Special pal still has a little bit of run. Glory bound Clara tips away from the inside. Could be a player in the final quarter of a mile. Mommy Joe dreams to tackle with lasting speed. Special pal is there. My inner voice flattens out just a bit. Likewise for glory bound Clara. Mommy Joe dreams, special pal. Mommy Joe dreams gets to the front. Special pal to the outside. Mommy Joe dreams with lasting speed. Mommy Joe dreams living the dream here in the pick five at Finger Lakes. The favorite gets it. And we have prices for the fourth race. Thank you very much for your patience. Officially at 367. And there they go. Quick start for Hangout. He's all alone with the lead. From the inside, Lorenzen's on hold. Up for Adventure wants to mix it up. To the outside races, that's my business. Lorenzen works into the two path. Now he wants to push. Hangout, Lorenzen, up for Adventure, three wide. That's my business, stuck out deep, four wide. So there's in the fifth spot, saving ground, and he's six from Hangout. Three to Colton goes, more than a length to Stormandy. Hangout's going pretty good for the level. He opens up from Lorenzen, who secures a nice trip. There comes So There, going to try to make a move into third. That's my business, has that spot up for adventures back to fifth. Colton goes, bides his time. He's in no hurry, flanked by Stormandy. Hangout, pretty ambitious, has the lead, better than two and a half. Lorenzen stays close, 48 and three fifths. So there's into third, and that's my business, has the fourth spot. Here comes Colton goes, now finding his best ride. And look at Colton goes, take off, heading into the turn. He's in the two path, and he gets within four lengths, and he has all the momentum. Here comes Colton goes, he's into third, and he continues to catch the eye. Colton goes, is up to the front. That's my business, quickens with him. Lorenzen third, then hang out. So there's even paced. Nothing from up for adventure in Stormandy. Colton goes. He can't shake clear from that's my business. Colton goes, and that's my business. A good race developing at the eighth pole. Colton goes, has sustained this run, and he's getting away from that's my business. Lorenzen is third, and here is Colton goes, and he drops and pops, and he's a good-looking winner of the fifth. That's my business with second, then Lorenzen, and the stable mates five for fourth and fifth, so there. Five, six, one, trifecta, nine dollars, 55 cents, 10 cents, super, five, six, one, two, six dollars, 72 cents. The pick three, five, three, five, three. And there they go. And there goes investment grade from the far outside, claiming the early lead. Christmas dinner, second with Cat Glasses, Kathy, and Let's Maga. Home Del Parks, fifth, headed by Stabilize. La Cafetera, late runner, is the last of all. Investment grade up to the front. Cat Glasses, Kathy, means business. Into the race early, and she's sharp. Christmas dinner, third, Stabilize from the outside. Let's Mag is in the two-path. Home Del Park, tight spot for her along the rail. And she's four lengths off the lead, and she's going to have to check out of that spot. At the back marker, there is La Cafetera. So it is investment grade, and Cat Glass is Kathy. They open up nearly three lengths Christmas dinner. Let's Mag is trying to pick up her best stride from the inside. Here comes Let's Maga making a move into third. Stabilizes fifth. Home Del Park is sixth. At the back race is La Cafetera. And here is Cat Glass is Kathy getting the lead at the top of the lane. Investment grade's got a little fight. Let's Maga tries to quick it in. She's going to have to really go in this final furlong. Here's La Cafetera. Tara hitting her best stride along the rail, and she has momentum. Investment grade keeps on fighting. Here's La Cafetera, the late player along the rail. La Cafetera from last to first. Good effort from investment grade in defeat. Then we'll go to Let's Maggot.
Some nice payoffs. The double five six twenty six dollars sixty cents. Here are the big three payers. That exact is six seven one hundred twenty one dollars fifty cents. How about the trifecta? And there they go. Quick start fraternity. He's got a short fuse. Is up close. Leo and Royals into the race much earlier. Dock advantage under a snug hold from four. And what a Crypto Causeway Interstate and Empire Rides, the last of all, and the Camarero Invaders, the first of all. His name is Fraternity. Dock Advantage wants to go. He's got a short fuse. Is up close. Leo and Royal with a clear path to the leader line. He is three deep. Crypto Causeway's a little less than three and a half off the lead. Interstate four lengths from the front. Empire Ride, a little less than six lengths from the leader, who is Fraternity. Fraternity and Christian Navarro to the 5 8 25 and 1. He's got a short fuse, is right there. Dock Advantage is third, and he's up close from the rail. And Leo and Royals amongst the leading pack. He's in the clear, four deep, a length off. Break of about three lengths, maybe two and a half or so to Crypto Causeway. Length and a half, Interstate Empire rides at the back. Dock Advantage puts his head in front, heading into the turn. Dock Advantage gets to save ground. Leo and Royal gets to cover the most ground. And splitting them, he's got a short fuse. Fraternity's back to fourth and Crypto Causeway. Empire Ride is six lengths off the lead and Interstate's at the back. Dock Advantage and Leo and Royal. Leo and Royal confronting Dock Advantage. Leo and Royal's up to the front. Dock Advantage still fighting on, and he's got a short fuse. Empire Ride and Crypto Causeway. Leo and Royal's the leader at the 316s. Dock Advantage is trying to fight. Leo and Royal's going a little better. Dock Advantage still with some fight from the inside. Leo and Royal at the 16th. Dock Advantage is running a good one. Leo and Royal looks a little better. Leo and Royal in front. From a game, Dock Advantage and Crypto Causeway. Empire Ride for. And there they go. BC Glory Days not near the lead. Uncle Milty and Smart Storm begin the best. Here comes BC Glory Days. He's into third, and he's closing in for that top spot along the inside. Magic Pro races outside of Thundering March. Kobe's Legacy's inside of Riley B. MCRR is the last of eight. BC Glory Days back in against N2Ls, back in a one-turn sprint. He's the leader from Smart Storm. Uncle Milty's in a good spot in the clear from third, two to fine, heading into the turn. Magic Pro a little more than three off the lead. From his outside is Kobe's Legacy. Thundering marches third last far outside. Riley B. MCRR splits them. They race to the quarter pole. BC Glory Days right there with him. Smart Storm. Uncle Milty's hitting his best ride from the outside. BC Glory Days has the lead turning for home trying to shake clear from smart storm uncle milty's third trying to make a move into second and with a kobe's legacy they are under the eighth pole bc glory days the one to come and catch uncle milty fights for second thundering march is picking up his best stride to the extreme outside bc glory days uncle milty's closing in bc glory days uncle milty to the outside uncle milty from bc glory days third and fourth tight thundering march 8-8, eight, eight, late daily double, $31, 8-6 exacta from the nightcap, $40.20, 8-6-3 trifecta, $88.25.